Hi everyone. Hello, 大家好 I think last time,、mm. let me ask you. So, who do you think the biggest figure was last time? Sorry, what do you mean? Who was the biggest character last time? Oh, it's the princess. Right. It's a.、Uh, uh-huh. What's uh, her name? Her name is, I forgot. <laughs> Definitely related to Prince Bolkonsky, right? Oh、uh, yeah,、mm-hmm. I just remember she have a dark dawn, and、uh, mm-hmm. uh, when she walk like sway swaying step. Right. Uh huh.、Mm-hmm. Yeah,、and、it's、uh, very, it's very, um,、mm, uh, it's very、uh, a lot of powerful, and、um, pleasure herself. Right. Right. And、That's, also、yeah. can、mm-hmm. make other people feel very yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Right.、Mm. Very good. Okay, so we know that、uh, she she was like sitting down, right? And then、yes. she complained to Anna about what? Do you remember about about the her clothes? Right. Saying, she saying poor poor clothes, but actually, okay. So I get tranquil, Liz. You always be prettier than anyone else," replied Anna Pavlovna.、Uh, so so this is the French. Yes,、yeah, be it says be tranquil. Lise is Lise. Lise is the name of、uh, Princess、uh, Bokoskaya. So what it mean means? Be tranquil. Don't be worried. Don't、oh, don't be, be worried. don't be peaceful about it. Because she's kind of like she's worried, worried about she's worried about her dress not good enough.、Uh, is is it is it similar to the prince say、uh, set your mind at a rest? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, right, yeah. Continue. Um and、uh, but no no no.、Oh. We have to understand what Anna tried to say. Oh, <laughs> Anna said. You you will always be prettier than anyone else. So so what uh uh what what whatever clothes you wear,、mm-hmm. okay. doesn't matter. You always prettier than anybody. Am I right or? Yes, uh you know said the princess in the same tone of voice and still in French, turning to a, turning to a general. So she's turning to a general like she's talking to someone. My husband is deserting me. He's going to get himself killed. Tell me what this wretched war is for. So,、uh, um, so the general. General is like somebody man, high. Man, right? Yeah, it's a high up guy in the army. A high、general. up, oh, high up, maybe 上校 Yeah, pretty so high. So it's talk about and、uh, talk about the princess, right? The princess is talking. Ah,、uh, the princess is talking. Yeah. So her husband is in the war. That's what it says here. So、deserting means leaving me, kind of like leaving me, kind of deserting. Yeah. Abandon. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And、um, and she thinks that she's gonna get, he's gonna、Q. die, right? Yeah. And so now she's she's wondering why is this wretched war, right? What the wretched war mean? Wretched is like this war. bad war. Bad this, war. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this this awful awful war. Awful. So war. now it's interesting here because <laughs> because we know how yes we know how Anna feels. Anna. Anna, what does Anna feel about the war? It's bad. Anna didn't say that. No, it's it's uh it's a bad war. No. It's a Russian will, um, to what the 报复怎么说 re revenue. Let me ask you: Is is Anna against or for the war? Is he against、I'm、or for against. the war? Anna against. No, she's for. Huh? She wants to stop Napoleon. Yeah, but actually, she don't want Napoleon fight uh start a war. Napoleon already started. Her point is Napoleon already started a war. Look, Anna don't want Napoleon start a war against Russia. She definitely does not want it, but it's already、yeah. happening. So she only way that she think you can get out is like Russia will have to like fight against Napoleon. So so she said she said it many times. The king is so good, or the emperor is so good, yeah, he will stop、good. Napoleon kind of thing. Yeah. That's what she said many but times. But if if Napoleon don't start a war and then she already said that the war is there, people don't want to see that there's a war, but there is.、Mm. All this Austria, England, whatever Prussia, Prussia. don't want to do anything about it. Do, yeah, they don't want to against Napoleon. But the、Napoleon. war is there already because we already know Napoleon took up Italy already, right?、Mm. Genoa and that that first part.、Mm. So the war is there. So now we get a different. So for her. The war has to happen because that's the only way that you can stop Napoleon. Okay, so Russia has to like fight against Napoleon, according to Anna.、Mm. Now we get a different view from Alice. We can go just Princess Bokoskaya,、um, uh, right? So what's what's her view of war? She's scared of the war. Why? 
Because her husband will go to the war. Correct. Yes. So now, now we get something closer, right? That she's worried about her husband. Mm. Uh, addressing Prince Vasily, and without waiting for an. So who? So the prince is addressing the prince, prince Vasily. Yes. Okay. Answer. She turned to speak to his daughter, the beautiful Elaine. <laughs> What? what a delightful woman this little princess is. Oh, wait. Actually, this is Prince Vasily talking. Yeah, yeah. What a delightful woman <laughs> this little princess is, said Prince Vasily to Anna Pavlovna. So why do you think he said that? Because the the princess didn't wait until the the prince say something, answer, right? And she just turned to his daughter. So? So the prince Vasily think she maybe very actually I do not know why what is delightful means a very um, make, make, quick quickness action no, make, make, make people happy That's all make people happy yeah. mm, interesting mm -hmm. okay um, so I don't know why he said that and I'm not I'm not exactly sure what he's delightful about I don't think it's about the thing that she just said uh, um, it may be just she's just commenting this, uh, you know, because everybody likes her anyway. So maybe. Okay. One of the next arrivals was a stout, heavily built young man with close cropped hair, spectacles, the light colored breeches fashionable at that time, a very high ruffle, and a brown dress coat. Okay. Uh, it's actually okay. good to stop because this is a uh, um, a lot of descriptions for a person. So why mm -hmm. do I say that? Because if you think about it, did the author ever say so much about one person? Yes. Who? Anna and the Prince Vasily yes. and the princess. Yeah, they, they okay. describe them a lot. Right. So, but not everybody, right? Mm, not every guest. Not everybody. Mm. So, you now you know that there's an important person coming. Why? Because she describes a lot. Yes. Right? You yeah. agree? Yes, I agree. Right. So, so now we know we have to pay attention to this one. Mm. He was a stout. Stout. Stout means stout kind man. of like, kind of like one of those guys who look, not thin for sure. Oh, he's uh, fat. But not, not necessarily fat, but just kind of like wider, wider, wider. Yeah, stout. Oh, yeah. okay. Heavily built. You know, heavily built means very like, heavy. Heavily built. No, heavily built means more looks like a tank kind of. It looks like a tank. Tank. Okay. Yeah. But heavily it's young built man. young man with mm. closely cropped hair that means that his hair is it's cut closely right what is what is cropped mean this mean cut cut yeah. close um, means short Co close means short hair could be short hair yeah mm. spectacles. spectacles he wears glasses and uh the light color breeches fashionable at that time so he's just wear some breeches which is fashionable not necessarily expensive. Well, what does breeches mean? Pants. Pants. Pants? Yeah. Okay. Uh, a very high ruffle. Ruffle is like... Ruffle the, is a kind of cake, right? No, it's, it's like this this kind of things that they have next to their neck, kind of. Oh, like the decoration? A, yeah. Kind feather? Of, yeah. Something? Not a feather. They don't put feather. It's just a ruffle. It's like... A very high ruffle. Yeah, so it goes pretty high. Oh, and, and a brown, brown dress, dress coat. coat. Okay. This stout young man was an illegitimate, illegitimate son of Count Bezukhov, a well-known grandee of Catherine's time who now lay dying in Moscow. So he is an illegitimate son. That's the number one thing we know about him. Illegitimate means like not the son by marriage. Oh, not the son by marriage right. means his mother is not his father's wife. Correct. So they call it the illegitimate. Oh. Yeah. Of some Bekozov. So we won't know about uh, Count Bezukhov. Mm -hmm. uh, all we know is that is he's a well known grandee, I don't know, of Catherine's time, who now lay dying. So he's dying oh. in Moscow. So his father is dying. He's almost dying. Is dying. The young man had what not is, yet. Is dying means is almost, but, did, but hasn't died, right? Uh, didn't die. Just... No, it's dying, yes. It's already died? It's, I don't think it says dying. dying. Dying means he didn't yeah. die. Yeah, it's dying, okay? The young man has not yet entered either the military or civil service, as he only just returned from abroad where he had been educated. 
So first we learned that he had did not he's not in the military. So it's interesting to note here. The uh, Yangma had not yet entered either the military or, or civil service. Civil service. As he had just returned from abroad where he had been educated. So he'd be studying uh, oh, somewhere he, else. He's just a student, just a graduate. Right. He just came back, so he just doesn't have a back. job yet. Yeah. And this was... Can you go? Where he had been educated. And, and this, this was, was his first appearance in society. So uh, this is the first, first time, time that he appeared in society. Society means like... Um, Anna's reception is yeah. kind of like a gathering of... People, people. Right? Mm. so this is you can call this as part of society. Right? Society, sure. So, yeah. Anna mm. Paulona greeted him with a with a nod. She accorded to the lowest hierarchy in her drawing room. Okay, so this is very interesting. So, how did Anna greet him? Anna just nod her hand, I think, or her head. According, according to the lowest hierarchy. What do you call it? So, according means according. According. So, to the lowest. so you have different nods for different people. Okay. Oh, nod this means nod, 点头, right? This nod is only for the ones for the lowest hierarchy of in her drawing room. For the lowest class nod. Oh, to the lowest. So if it's somebody important, she may nod very much. For somebody like not so important, she just, just nod, nod a little a bit. Little bit. Yeah. Mm. But in spite of this lowest grade greeting, a look of anxiety and fear as at the sight of something too large and unsuited to the place, came over her face when she saw Pierre enter. So, uh, this is very interesting. And again, it's uh, very nice how the author describes Anna's... Um, Reflect. Yeah, her reaction to reaction. Pierre. So, what's her reaction? Um, I, anxiety. Anxiety and, and fear. fear. Yes. And at the sight of something too large and unsuited and unsuited to the place. Oh, mm. I mean, the young boy too yes. large and it's not fit in the in her place. No, that's not, not fit. Fitted? Not well, fit in this couple yeah. sense. Not doesn't 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 belong. Kind of oh. doesn't 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 seem to like be it's, part of the other oh. people. So imagine just a bear. Looks, looks very. <laughs> imagine you have a bunch of people and a bear comes into the room. What what? A bear. A bear? What a bear mean? Bear? It's like those big animal. Yeah. Imagine a big bear comes into the room. Oh, like a big bear. Yeah. Imagine a big bear comes in the room. Probably you think, oh, that doesn't oh. that doesn't fit into this place. Oh my god. So you can imagine something like that, right? Oh. So she was kind of like fearful and whatever. Yeah. Wh Though he was certainly rather rather bigger than the other man in the room, mm. her anxiety could only have reference to the clever though shy but observant and natural expression which distinguished himself from everyone else in that drawing room great this is like so so great like how he describes this so what was she fearful about i don't know now take a look uh, he was rather bigger that, than than the man, other yes. man and then but it's a though right though no. Though means yeah. even though they have even though even, he's bigger than it, that's uh, not what she's that's not that's oh, not why it's that's worse, not but why. The even worse is not even worse. It says though he was bigger it means that it's not because he was bigger. Oh, it's because of what? Yes. Because of clever so shy but of some unnatural expression. Okay, because uh, because the man is very clever. Yeah, not, natural. Not, yeah, well, not necessarily clever. Just says clever though shy, observant, yeah, observant and, and natural, natural expression. So expression is because of this. This guy is very big. We know yeah, that. Yeah. But he also looks very shy. clever. But shy. Uh, clever but shy. That's very interesting things to put together. He looks clever but shy. Uh, observant and natural. Observant means he look, likes, look. Yes, he, he, he observes stuff. He's uh, not lo looking for something. Observant doesn't mean looking for something. Mm -hmm. It just means like he knows. He likes looking. No, it does not mean. Like, <laughs> it's looking. not about looking. Um, Observing is not looking. Thinking? Okay? Observing is not looking. Observing is like. Pay attention to things. It's not about looking. Okay, oh, looking. Can, I can look anything, but this guy's like I try to understand what's happening. Oh. Try to like figure out what's going on. Knows what's going on around him. Oh, That's okay. what observant Observe. means. 
Natural. Natural means that he's he doesn't look like he doesn't look like somebody who is uh, spying or whatever. Spying? This is spying. Spying. Oh, 间谍. Yeah, he's not like a spy or something. Oh. He just happens to be that kind of person. It's, it's he, his own naturally his own he's natural like that. behavior. Yes. Um, which distinguishes him from everyone else in that journal. That is, everybody else was not like that. Expression. His expression, express, right? No, his expression means like his what what his face looks like, the way that he looks. Oh, uh, the uh, way that he looks yeah. distinguished him from yeah. anywhere else in that, make him so different. Yes, okay. Right. Now, let's stop here, right? Mm -hmm. So, question: Can you see why somebody like that? Can Can you imagine on your head? Somebody like that. Yeah, I understand because he's a student. Have you ever just met, hold on? Have you ever met somebody like that? Has I ever met? Yeah, have you ever met somebody like that? Uh, I am not sure. Okay, I think so you're just a real person. No, this guy again. If you think very carefully, you know maybe you have to maybe. It's, what is your question? Okay, you're you're together in a big room with a lot of people. Right? Yes. Have you ever like found oh there's somebody in here who is very different than anybody else? Have you ever seen that kind of look it doesn't have to be like clever and shy, just have you ever seen somebody very different than anyone else? Oh seldom. Yes, yeah, seldom. Mm. True. But you seen somebody like that. Mom. He's special. Special than yes. any than one. anybody else, yes. Than anybody else. Oh, so yeah. have you have you have you had that experience, um, meeting somebody who is different than anybody else? Yes. You yes, have. Yes. Okay, so now I can imagine Pierre was that that kind of person. Pierre, Pierre. is his name. Yeah. Oh. Pierre was that kind of person. He was that special. Oh. He's he's just but he looks very natural. He's very but he's shy. Shy. He not not talking much. Mm. But you can tell that maybe he's very clever, very observant, mm. but natural, right? Mm. So that's the kind of person Pierre is. Even though it's like such, you may think, oh, well, this is such a common. Aren't there a lot of people who are... No, there's not that many people, if you think about it, right? Everybody mm. else is not like... They were, no, so think you, about you know, it. You know why? Because it's his first time, first appearance. Okay, you can, argue, you can argue that. You can argue yeah. that. But I would argue no. I think this guy is not uncomfortable. I would argue Pierre is not. He is not uncomfortable. He's not uncomfortable. Means that he's, he's com comfortable. That's right. Not only comfortable, he's kind of confident as well. Confident. I think. Yes. Whoa. I don't think he is actually anxious or anything like. Oh, like you said. Oh, this first time yeah. you think imagine. Oh, maybe this kind of doesn't want to talk to anyone or whatever, right? So far, I don't know. Well, I. Th but if that's the case, I would argue that he's not that special. Hmm. But you think he's very special? Of course he's very special because Anna is scared of this guy. Scared? It's Anxiety. her first time to see him, right? doesn't matter. No, Anna is not, normally not scared of anyone. Ah, oh. <laughs> how you know that? Come on, you know Anna. Do you think like she's scared of anyone? <laughs> oh. Right? I don't think so. She can talk to like uh, generals. She can talk to like prince, whatever. She can talk oh. to many people and she's yeah. like can say whatever. Mm -hmm. But to this guy who happens to be low society, right? Yes. Low class. Yeah. So why Normally, she... low class, she will That's not. That's right. She doesn't care even less. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine how special this peer is. Oh. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm, I understand. He's like low class. He's not wearing very fancy clothes. Mm. But just the way that he. Just like how you impress with a princess, imagine something like completely different, impress. Like somebody who can impress somebody a lot. So this now you can see as a two. Brighton. <laughs> no, not. This, I don't think Pierre brightens anyone uh -huh. like the princess. Yeah. But you can imagine now you have these two very, very um special people, right? Mm. In, in Anna's reception. Yes. Okay. Continue. Um, we'll continue. If okay. it's very good of you, Monsieur Pierre, to come and visit a poor invalid, I said Anna Pavlovna, exchanging. Okay. Uh, alarmed glance with her arms as she conducted him to her. Okay, uh, uh, right. So basically, she uh, came to. Uh, well, she she normally shows people to her aunt anyway. Yeah. Uh, Pierre murmured something unintelligible and continued to look around to look round as if in search of something. 
On his way to the aunt, he bowed to the little princess with a pleased smile, as to a, an intimate acquaintance. So, um, uh, almost we, we, we can actually figure out why Anna is kind of like worried. But anyway, so Pierre said something, murmured means like say something can like very low voice, murmured something. Murmured something. Unintelligible means you cannot understand what he was saying. Pierre so said something to who? Don't know. And continued to look around. So he maybe he continued to look around uh, as if he's looking for something. Yes. On his way to the aunt, he bowed yes. to the little princess. So yes. before he reached the aunt, he already bowed to the uh, little very princess. Very polite. Mm. With a pleased smile. No, it says it was a pleased smile. So it's like pleased smile. Yes. Pleased smile. As as to an intimate acquaintance, as if she, as if he knows her. Uh oh. Right? Acquaintance means children. Intimate means close. Closed. Yeah, oh, close, close acquaintance. So Anna Pavlovna's alarm was justified, meaning that she was correct to be. Alarm. She was correct to be alarmed. For Pierre turned away from the aunt, without waiting to hear her speech about Her Majesty's health. Anna Pavlovna, in dismay, detained him with the words, "Do you know the Abbe Morio? He's a most interesting man." Okay, so first of all, remember how Anna observes everybody that he brings to her aunt. Yes. You remember that what everybody does. <laughs> everybody just uh, um, pre prevent the polite prevent yes. the impatient. Correct, but everybody listens Listen. to the aunt. But look at what Pierre did. Pierre turned away from the aunt without waiting to f let her finish talking uh, about the Majesty he, health. Because he don't know the the. The culture, maybe. I don't know, but definitely Anna was kind of yeah worried. Yeah. Uh, and then Anna stopped him for a second and says, "I don't know why she stopped him. Uh, so, do you know the Abbe Abbe Morio again? Is that the religious so, man?" So huh? Anna, in dismay, surprise and kind of like shock, a surprise shock, shock and detain him and stop him, stop him, stop yeah. him with the words. Yeah. Oh. So here, no, I don't think she cares about what she's saying. She's just trying to stop. Just him try to him. stop yeah. him. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. We finished today's. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye guys. Bye bye.